lovely question actually conceptually this is a very simple question categorize it as a 650 question no more difficult than that but this question is lovely it's a very interesting question on two counts one there's a lot of little bit of pieces of information about the numbers given here this question is actually testing whether you have been meticulous about keeping track of that second one an effective way or sometimes a only way of solving a lot of these questions might be to iterate the answers let's get started three positive integers a b and c so first thing to keep track of is that these numbers are positive integers are such that their average is 20 and a is less than or equal to b is less than or equal to c so they need not be distinct numbers the median is a plus 11 what is the least possible value of c just put down these points first one is that these are positive integers the average of these numbers is a 20 so a plus b plus c by 3 is equal to 20 therefore the sum of these three numbers is 3 into 20 which is equal to 60. a is less than or equal to b is less than or equal to c so they need not be distinct the question mentions the median is equal to a plus 11. median of these three numbers is going to be a b so b is equal to a plus 11. our objective is to find the least possible value for c let's get started one number is a the second number b which is the median is a plus 11 because the middle number is b c has to be greater than b or it can be equal to b how low can c be when it is equal to b it cannot be lesser than b so when you're trying to find out the least possible value for c let's make c to be equal to b this is the theoretically least value possible for c and compute the value there so a is equal to a b is equal to a plus 11 c is equal to b which is also a plus 11 sum of these three values is equal to 60. So that makes it as 3a plus 22 equals 60 or 3a equals 60 minus 22 which is a 38 which boils down to the fact that a is equal to 38 by 3. a is 38 by 3 which is not an integer which means b and c which are 11 more than that are also not going to be integers. So this is the condition that fails when we take c to be equal to b. That's not going to work. So this is ruled out. We are trying to minimize c. When c was equal to b, we got the theoretical minimum, which is 38 by 3 plus 11, which is actually a 12.33 plus 11. That's the least possible value for c. But because it's not an integer, we could not go with it. We're still trying to minimize c. So what we'll do is we'll give c as little more than b as we can. So in iteration 2, what we're going to do is we're going to make c to be equal to b plus 1. And check out whether we're able to get values which are integers. a is a number. a plus 11 is the value of b. C is equal to B plus 1, which is A plus 11 plus 1, which is A plus 12. Sum of these three values should be equal to 60. So what we have here is 3A plus a 23. Take it to the right hand side. Makes 3A to be equal to 37. Implies A is equal to 37 by 3. Same thing. A is not an integer. So C will not be an integer. This is also ruled out. Let's look at the third possibility. We're trying to minimize C. When C was equal to B plus 1, it did not work. Let's give one more than that. Let's make c to be equal to b plus 2. Let's check out what happens. a is known. a plus 11 is the second number which is the value of b. c should be 2 more than b which is a plus 13. So sum of all of these values is equal to 60. 3a plus a 24 on the left hand side goes to the right hand side. 60 minus 24 is equal to 36. So a is equal to 36. a is equal to 36 by 3 which is equal to a 12 c is what c is equal to a plus 13 so c is equal to 25 this is the least integer value that c can take so what is the least possible value for c that is equal to 25 we iterated it starting with b c being equal to b and when that did not work we incremented it by a one that did not work then we incremented by one more and this is the case where it worked quickly see this entire discussion in a printed form theoretically the least value is when c is equal to b at that time, we found out that a is equal to 12.66 and c is equal to 11 more than that. It's not an integer. So therefore, a e c equals b is not a possibility. It's incremented, iterated. Let's make c to be equal to b plus 1. In that instance either, we found out that a was not an integer. 3a is equal to 37, which means a is equal to 12.33, which will make c not an integer. So this is also not going to work. We'll increment it by one more. At that instance, we got A to be an integer and C was also an integer. The least integer value of C given all of these conditions is a 25. Choice C is the correct answer to the question.